Hello folks. So today I'm going to experiment using charcoal briquettes as a fuel source in my forge. Coal is getting very expensive to purchase and, and it's even really hard to find here on the west coast. So I use it very sparingly. I only use coal when I'm forge welding. But I thought I would try charcoal briquettes and see if I can do just some general blacksmithing with it, which is something I've never done. I've got some kindling and some paper ready, and I'm going to get this fire started. Oh, and uh, the paper that I'm using is last November's voting pamphlet. I never missed an opportunity to burn one of those, especially the Democrat section. So I'll get this thing started and I'll bring you back in. Okay, I have my coal off to the side and I have charcoal briquettes in the fire pot. Let's see, uh, see how well it heats. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I can't seem to get it fast orange. purposes here and the setup that I have these charcoal burner cats are just not working out very well it's taking way too long to heat even a thin piece of steel up and I can only get an orange in this fire pot so the charcoal briquettes are still burning in there so I'm gonna throw some coal on top and uh, Forge away. I guess I'm just going to have to find more sources for coal here on the west coast and and pay the money out. But like I said, I only basically use coal for when I'm forage welding now anyway. Otherwise, I use my gas uh, forage. It's just uh, getting too expensive and too hard to get a hold of here. But I do have some stocked up and that will last me a while for any forge welding that I need to accomplish. But I found out this is my first time experimenting with charcoal, at least with charcoal briquettes myself. And you know, it might be better if I put some fire brick on each side and really load it up with charcoal. But I don't know, there's a lot of sparks coming off. It doesn't seem to be getting as hot as coal. And there's an awful lot of uh, dust and ash accumulation. So I can already tell right now I'm not going to be too happy with it. So I'll just stick with the coal. All right, I'm going to get this fire going and start forging. <clears throat> okay, folks, I just wanted to show you something real quick. I got a coal fire going now. And I made it real small. I didn't pile a bunch of coal. So I wanted to keep the fire about the same size as I had with the charcoal briquettes. Now, I had this thin piece of steel in there in the charcoal briquettes for nine minutes, cranking the air to it, and I could only get it orange. So now I got an equivalent size fire, but in coal, and this, this piece is dead coal. As a matter of fact, I stuck it in the water. Yeah, it's it's coal. So I'm going to stick it in this fire and let's see uh, how fast I can heat this up to yellow in coal.
difference in heat coming off before hitting me in the face is incredible compared to the uh, charcoal briquettes. Look at that, it's already starting to turn yellow. I don't have a timer on me, but that's less than a minute, easily. Look at there. It's already starting to sparkle on the end. I've almost got it to a forge welding temperature. And that's what, about a minute? Less than a minute? So that's the difference between charcoal and coal, at least in this setup here. Amazing. I'm not really making anything in particular. I'm just kind of screwing around. <clears throat> but the main thing, I was just trying to do some experimentation with the uh, charcoal briquettes. I figured since I had some coal on here, I'm also just have some fun. All right. Talk to you folks later.